Hey, hey, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I know with that comes the good, the bad, and the ugly. But today's message is specifically for my single, hopeless romantics out there. So maybe you're single, but you're a cynic of love, or maybe you um, are in a relationship. You can still watch this, of course. There's always gonna be some interesting information. But this is for those that love love, want love, and celebrate love in all its forms, but you just happen to be single on this particular day where everybody wants to make a big hoopla and <laughs> celebrate it. Um, so I am currently single and I think it's been a long time, several years, if I really stop and think about it, that I've actually been in a relationship on Valentine's Day. For some reason, I don't, it's really bizarre, but I'm, I'm in a relationship or I'm dating someone and then it's like right, right before Valentine's Day, it fizzles out or whatever. So <laughs> maybe you can relate. Um, so just not meant to be. And it just happens that February 14th is when I end up being single. So I've had to make great peace with this because I consider myself a hopeless romantic, like a die hard advocate for love in all its forms, not just romantic, but I'm a, such a sucker for romantic love. So much so actually, I wrote a book. You can find it on Amazon. I self published this years ago and I don't do enough to promote it, but it's called Old Soul Dating. And I essentially wanted to create a romantic revolution. I feel like today's dating scene lacks romance and chivalry and those sort of those old fashioned, old timey ways of courting one another. Um, so I've outlined it all in here and um, actually use biblical principles even if you're not a believer, there's so much wisdom in the Bible that I used it to guide and sort of not sort of, to actually um, kind of to back up my claims, as it were. So Old Soul Dating I, by Rebecca Pebble. Pebble's my middle name, and I love it so much because I was named after my Nana, so that's sort of my moniker for all my media. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. I just, for some reason, it was on my heart to talk to the people who love love, but you're single. So you might be a little bummed out today or you might be a lot bummed out and that's okay. I think that's the first step. And if I had my whiteboard, which I don't have anymore, I would write that down. I'd say step one is to go be gentle with yourself and to validate your own feelings. Like it's okay that I'm maybe sad, maybe I'm angry, maybe I don't know how I feel, maybe I'm okay and that's great too. Um, but wherever you find yourself as a single person who wants love, maybe more than anything else, it might be top on your priority list. And it's not like you can force love to come into your life. It's not like you can, you know, poof, create a perfect partner and there they are and everything works and you both just gel and it's, and it's beautiful. Unfortunately, it's one of those things like we don't have control over. So I guess that's number two is for those of us that love love and want love, it's that letting go. And I am so bad at wanting just to cling onto things, even if they're not good for me, because just to have something or someone, or, you know, to say you're in a relationship or you're dating somebody, it, it feels good, right? Because society makes us think, oh, you know, you're not worth, you're not, you're not worthy. You're not with someone. Something's wrong with you. You're defective. It's like, no, I, and this is going to point three, I realize my worth. And because of that, I'm going to be patient and wait for the right person. And I'm going to let things go that aren't meant for me. Um, even if someone broke up with you, or I say broke up with me, cause that's <laughs> what's been happening. Um, which I feel like is a God thing, honestly. It's, it's crazy how he works in mysterious ways. But it's that, it's coming to that level of acceptance of this is for my highest good. This is, it's always for your highest good. And so I think that's part of it too. Which leads me to my next point, I think I'm on number four, is realizing you are whole and complete and worthy as a single person. You are a whole human with a whole soul and a whole heart and mind and it's beautiful. Your inner workings and your outer shell are all so beautiful and perfect. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. And so remembering that, that you are the whole Sunday and that person that will eventually come along, because you gotta have faith, 
they're the little cherry on top and they're not the whole enchilada. And for some reason we think, oh, I'm half of the sundae, you know, I'm maybe the banana and the banana split. Maybe they're the ice cream and they're the whipped cream and they're the cherries. Like, no, 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 you are the sundae. They're just that nice little thing that if it was missing, it's like you could eat it and it would taste amazing, but you add it on top, it's like, oh, that's a nice enhancement. So it's like the icing on the cake. It's another way to look at it as well. Um, <laughs> and so I think it's just coming down to really loving yourself and, and realizing this is where you are. This is where you find yourself and that's okay. It's a beautiful thing because this is my next point. I think I'm on five. Again, this is off the top of my head. This is such a beautiful season, not a sentence. It's a season. And I, this is, I'm telling you, I'm preaching this to you as much as to me, uh, for you to love yourself, find yourself, know yourself. And if you're spiritual, to get connected to God, which is where I find myself like, okay, now you've got me all to yourself, Lord. <laughs> so let's figure this out. Let's heal and take the time to sit back and figure out what do you want out of life? How do you heal? Because we all have wounds from our past. Even if you had a beautiful childhood, it's interesting. I've, I've done a lot of studying and research into like trauma and childhood trauma and uh, complex trauma and just different things and, and uh, attachment issues and all the psychologists say even if you had a great childhood there's there was some trauma that happened because at some point or another your needs weren't met or you're misunderstood as a child there's just no escaping it right so we all have things we can heal from but I guess this brings me to my next point we're never gonna be perfect and that's okay too I see couples out there of course they're not perfect neither partner is perfect together they're not perfect but they make it work and they love each other. They're patient, they're kind. Well, ideally, right? Um, all the things that love is. Um, and so this is a season. This isn't a life sentence. And so remember it will pass and eventually you'll be on the other side and you'll be watching videos like this. Or no, you won't be watching videos like this if you're not single anymore, probably not. Um, but you'll be thinking about, oh yeah, I remember when I used to watch those videos and I was discouraged and I thought my person would never come. Um, I believe if you have a desire in your heart, it's, it's something that's out there for you. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of things aligning and things happening um, to where it is with the right person at the right time and in the right way because you don't wanna rush into something. And I talk about that in my book. You don't wanna rush into something just to have something because you'll end up more traumatized and more wounded and that's when bad things happen. So it's important to just be okay with where you're at. Acceptance is huge. Now I say all this like it's easy, right? This has taken me a long time and healing process and it's been a journey and I have cried many tears, many days, many nights, many mornings. I'm one of these people for some reason in the morning is when I get my super lonely feelings, even more so than the evening, whatever that is. Um, and it's it's been, a lot and there were days I didn't think I would get to this point I didn't think I could make it through I didn't think I could put one foot in front of the other and keep existing honestly it was like heavy heavy emotions and heavy things and um, so I'm here to say if you're in that dark space I'm here to be that light and that guiding that guiding sort of the tip of the spear the person in the front that's like okay I've done all this work and I can, I can tell you with authority I can promise you that it gets better and that you'll be okay and you'll be on the other side and you'll be like you know what I'm okay where I'm at and even if you have moments or days when you're not give yourself grace and say okay I'm having a rough day I'm, I'm feeling lonely today if you're an extrovert like me I think sometimes it's harder for us um, to to not be in a relationship especially if you are anxiously attached <laughs> which I am and I'm working on, which are those of us that want and need and crave like attention and a person that we can just like sort of dote on. So then what you have to do is turn around and dote on yourself, love on yourself and say, man, I'm gonna be my best, my, my new best friend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna realize how awesome I am. And so those are just some things. I'm usually not one that likes to give advice, but for some reason this is sort of been on my heart. So maybe not so much advice as just like loving encouragement for my single people who love love so that's the last part right is if you're a hopeless romantic please 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 don't let that part of you die or get cynical because I feel like the majority of people in today's world um, and I actually saw a YouTube short it popped up on my feed 
and maybe if I can find it, I can link it, link, uh, put a link to it. And it was like dating uh, in the past versus now. And it kind of showed in the past where the guy would go to the girl's door and he would knock and he'd have flowers and she would open the door and he'd go, oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. And it cut there and then it showed modern day dating and it was like the guy drove up to her driveway and he sent her a text said, here. <laughs> and I was like, if that's not the most accurate thing, why did we decide romance just needs to die this painful death? I think this goes along with my last video too, like finding the magic, finding the wonder in life. And that's a part of it, right? Is our human connection, uh, human connection connecting with each other in that romantic way and how it can be so beautiful. Um, so of course, well, I feel like I could go down a rabbit hole. Like you don't want someone that's going to love bomb you. Right. Or, but that's a whole different, that's a whole different topic. Somebody that's disingenuous about their feelings. I mean, if you really like someone and they really like you and they're showing it in a romantic way, it's so, so beautiful. But I feel like it's kind of gotten lost in this internet age or um, information age um, where mystery is kind of gone, right? Because we have all the knowledge of all the things. So it's like, well, you know, just another woman at her door wearing a cute dress, you know, don't need to tell her she's beautiful or <laughs> like, no, stuff like that is so important. It's thoughtfulness, I think, that a lot of times is missing too. So if you are that romantic, and I'm preaching to the choir here, hold on to that. That's a beautiful part of you. And for some reason, it's part of your DNA, your personality. So don't try to change it. Don't feel bad about it. And also know there's others out there like you. I'm one. I'm here. So because sometimes I think, oh man, am I going to find a guy that will sweep me off my feet in those genuine ways and it's like yes i exist he must exist and someone once told me for every pot there is a lid and i think about that from time to time so for every you there's somebody there's someone for you for every person there's like there's a person right not saying there's like the one i still don't know i'm still like is there a one i don't know until i meet my person then maybe i might be like yes my one um, but in the meantime, I like to think at least there are people that, you know, if you were like a little container, you got the, got the nice lid that fits on there nicely. Because if you've ever tried to put like the wrong uh, lid while you're cooking on a pot, and it's too small or it's too big, it's just wonky. And you can, yeah, you can make it work sometimes if it's too big. You can kind of make it work. I've done that before. <laughs> um, but it's not ideal and uh, it's, it's, there, there's better out there. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. I just wish you all a happy Valentine's Day and just days in general. I hope your days are beautiful. And don't let this get you down if you're discouraged um, because you're beautiful and you're wonderful and you're worthy as is, no matter your relationship status. Um, and yeah, it, holidays holidays are tricky. Um, but try to be encouraged. You know, if you've got to watch some videos of YouTubers that can give you that encouragement or read some books, go do things that fill you with joy. Maybe that's, I'm gonna cook, actually, I'm gonna cook myself a, a good meal here in a bit, um, which I'm excited because I love cooking. Maybe go for a walk, maybe be in nature, maybe listen to music, um, take a bath, sing. I don't know, whatever sets your soul on fire or you know, watch something funny or interesting. Because sometimes I think we forget to nourish nourish ourselves when we're discouraged and we just want to sort of, if you're like me, sometimes I just wallow in it like a dark poet. I'm like, yes, this is my time to just like be emo. <laughs> it's like You don't want to sit in it for too long, right? You want to acknowledge it and kind of do what you will and transmute it into something beautiful. So, all right. Thank you all for listening. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind liking or and or subscribing or whatever, sharing it, if you think this would help a friend, uh, please do so. That would be wonderful. I'm keeping up my YouTube channel. I've been doing this, I think, gosh, I don't, I don't even know how long it is, but it's been years now. Um, and I uh, figure I'll just keep, I'll just keep at it. You know, why not? What have I got to lose? And so what have you got to lose too by being amazing and shining your light in your unique way? So I love you guys and I'll see you next time.